Yeah. What's going on guys? If you're here watching this video right now, you're probably looking to learn a thing or two about fading, working with clippers, cutting hair in general. If that's the case, you're in the right place. So currently I'm working in a contour around my client's head, working with the wall magic clip, which have been zero gapped. That's gonna give us the closest cut we can get without hurting our client. Basically taking it almost bald, working that contour shape around the head that's best fit for that client. So now what I'm doing guys is I'm removing the weight between the bald and the parietal ridge with my one clip. I have my blade closed, just working around the ridge of the head, kind of setting in a guideline here, um, just determining where I want to build up a little bit of weight. Make sure guys, when you're working around the head, you're not digging into the, the, the skull or the shape at all. You're just moving that clipper and you're slightly lifting up, in and out, in and out, in and out, up and down. Right here I'm going in with the Andis Slimline Pro, just going in and cleaning up that hairline making sure it's as close as bald as I can get it before I go in with my foil shaver. Now I got the 16th on my clipper with my blade closed, just detailing that hair a little bit more, creating a really nice buttery transition between the bald and the one. working with that clipper. Currently it's closed, but you'll see me bounce between open and close, just depending on what that hair needs to really bump out that fade. This is where the artistry and the haircut comes into play. This is where I seem to have most fun with my fades, bouncing between open, close, halfway open. This is how you can really detail and work out those lines and bumps and uh, imperfections in that fade. Open, closed open make sure not to chase the fade up too high you're just really trying to etch out that 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 fade line between the bald and the hair here I come in with my five-star wall foil shaver just creating that super bald close to the skin uh, 
fade. Super crispy, super nice machine. I love the way this thing works. It's awesome. I don't know what I did before haircutting before this. I must have sucked. I tend to work with this machine in the same way I would work with as uh, like a clipper, a trimmer when I'm fading. I try to make sure that I'm going in and out, lifting up as I as I go out. Um, it creates that super nice blend between the skin and the hair, creating that nice gradient we want to see in our, our fades, whether it's bald, one fade, two fade, whatever. Here I'm getting ready to start my clipper over comb. I've got a one and a half on my clipper currently. Yeah, currently it's closed and I'm just cleaning up that transition between the one and the clipper of comb. Now some clipper of a comb. Just going in, removing those corners, creating that transition between the one and a half and the hair on top of his head. build up at weight at its finest, um, clipper over comb, really creating that smooth transition between the one and a half and the hair on top of Jake's head. It's pretty dope. scissors on the top of the haircut. I'm taking horizontal sections, flat to the head, and no over direction, which means it's going to be a super textured, fun haircut for Jake to put in some sort of clay or matte type product, mess up in the morning, go to work, do his thing, love his haircut. Cool. And there you have it guys. That is a short skin fade, bald fade, scissor worked, whatever the hell you want to call it, men's haircut. Grab some clay, grab some goop, throw it in, texturize it, have some fun with it. I hope you like it. Please let me know what you think. Follow me on Instagram, Colin Farrick. Uh, come get a haircut with me if you're in the Cleveland area. And yeah, that's about it. Hope you really enjoy it guys. Thanks.